Welcome to home video number two. You know the drill. It's a vlog, but it's also pretty chill. Right now my life sort of revolves around digging up the garden, which you can imagine doesn't translate well into video. Either way, hope you enjoy our, our wee home video for today. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, this has been up for months, this is new. I'm just I didn't realize how much shorts you have. Got oh, quite a few. You got like three pairs. Yeah. Yeah. How many shorts you got? I don't no, I, I just didn't realise how much you had. I thought you only had I don't know if we should put all this stuff along that side so you can just at least put the bed over here somewhere rather than near, next to the mirror. I feel like the bed's gonna just sit like here though. Yeah. Isn't it? Ta da! Ta da! Just gonna slap the drawers on. And then Ta da! The bed, bed arrives. Um, yeah, I guess the bed. Is the baby now? I think it just slides in, eh? It's got to go with the. Has it not got any balls to go on? So. What do you mean? You see where your target is, right? Yeah. And you want the plastic to be on the outside of the wood. So I need the plastic to come out. And it should just move because it's already loosened. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. Towards me. Mm hmm. No breaks in this. Right, one, two, three. Oh, perfect. The bed, the mattress is on the way, but whatever. Oh, that does that make a difference? No, your right foot mattress anyway. Every okay. soft, every other week. Do so you want to try and move the whole thing next to the wall? Yeah. One, two, three. That's far as we're getting. There we go. Perfect. Um, That's cute. I didn't film it, but I put this mirror up and I kind of just wanted to show. And just in case it ever falls down, then we can uh, blame it on me. It's really hot, eh? Yeah. Obviously didn't hate much. Come on. Wah 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 wah. Couldn't have nothing. You okay? Okay. But I'm like, I don't know when I'd give Fiona her presents, because like before I gave her her presents, like... Do you think it's okay to put it this way? Or do you think we should put it a long way since that's the way it's going to be viewed? Yeah, it's a long ways if you can. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That seems secure enough. Can I put this down more? You're gonna pick some up, like so. And then you're just gonna spread it on. Use the white canvas to create texture, so. Cool. It gives a bit of a, a different move, doesn't it? It really signifies the emotion of the piece, you know? You can come on my side as well, I don't, I'm not. No, I know you're quite defensive over your side. That's not true. So what we used to use gesso for is, gesso is essentially what you, the canvas is like covered in anyway, it's like a primer.
What do you think this signifies as an artist? What's your... Like... Um... Play? Right. What do you think it signifies? The chaos of corporate structure. Along with working from home, we've got like a wee office space upstairs, which I've been sort of going to to do commissions and bits and bobs. Right now I'm working on a van design for uh, an old friend, um, but I'm hoping that we're going to do like a little video sort of sprucing up this office, getting some decorations up on the wall. If that's something you'd like to see, by all means let me know. That's cool. And then there'll be like text in each of these orange spots will be things that he does. Uh, it's early days anyway, but I'm trying to simplify it. We'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's let's sort this poor cat. Right. So basically, I'm gonna score it all up. Might be a very late dinner. We'll marinate for an hour. Mhm. Mm and we'll have dinner about seven. This all comes sort of scored already, to be honest. What else we marinated and so got? Should we do this one? Honey. No. Nah. Um. So just probably honey, salt, soy. Salt as well? Which salt? Uh, it's just table. Whatever's left of the cumin has that. Cumin. On the far right. Oh, I made it a bit too much, but that's fine. The help of the donor meat, no? I didn't get the other one. No. Could you open the fridge, madame? Yes. So, as a fun little thing I can do, as you see, here is a bottle of whiskey from a brand that I have bought at some point and it looks like, oh, we finished a lot of it. Wrong. I've been doing this weird thing where every bottle of whiskey I have, I'll leave like the smallest amount and then I've been filling this bottle up. Uh, I saw it was advertised as like an infinity bottle uh, and I've been meaning to buy a cool bottle but I can't find one that I like. I was gonna get like one of those vintage ones. So basically we filled from like here up to here with a bunch of different whiskeys. So like whiskeys and bourbon, so we've got some Scottish whiskey, we've got some like Buffalo Trace from Kentucky, just a whole bunch of stuff. I've been trying to buy like a different whiskey every time I go to the shop. We've got some of this one, which is really nice. And I don't even want to pour a whole shot because I cannot like the fact that we've come this far. So I want the tiniest tad. Because it smells really good. A lot of the whiskeys combined smells like really fruity, but none of the whiskeys on their own really smell that fruity, I don't know. Like I said, it smells really like weird and fruity. I'm gonna give it a taste, smallest amount. It's weird. I think the fact that it's like scotch whiskey and bourbon, I'll keep you updated and hopefully we'll get a nicer bottle too. But it's like, it's got like that, New Year's old lady taste, but combined with like the sweetness of like bourbon. Oh, oh yummy! We'll make our own blind. I think the Scottish whiskey is like overpowering, which I guess is a good thing. Because Scottish whiskey is usually a bit better. Bourbon's like sweeties, whereas Scottish whiskey is like fire. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, I don't know whether to make the chips soon. Uh, up a little bit. Uh, that's in, like right in the center. Oh, oh, oh. masterpiece. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, now the flipping though. I think a big fork might be good. I think 
I think you're meant to like, you know, like, if you've caught the potato slice, right? you're meant, I think you're meant to turn your potato. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. I like uh, 